All right, today we're going to be installing new pedals on the T-Line. <laughs> I finally got my package from Taiwan and I ordered some new pedals. Here they are. All right. So these are the uh, Thai Parts Workshop pedals. Okay. You have a fixed um, spindle on one side and the quick release on the other. And what's cool about these is, oh, they come with washers and they also come with two sets pegs, I guess. Little things you put into the pedal for more grip nuts. Yeah, let's just call them grip nuts. All right, so you can choose the black or you can choose the red. Just to change out the pedals, all you need is, you know, your Allen keys and maybe a pedal wrench, depending on the pedals that you get. So the first step would be to remove the pedals on the bike. So let's do that first. On the T-line, you actually need a size eight and a six, okay? The size eight for this side and the size six for the other side since it has the quick release. Okay, so first you gotta take out the pedal. Stick this through. Wait, wait a minute, what is this? Oh my God, look, the pedal's already been loose. That's not good. It wasn't uh, tightened at the factory, so if you have a T-line, make sure your pedals are uh, tight. I don't think they should be this loose. That just came off without even trying. Let me see on this side. This side looks so good. What? <laughs> this side's loose too. This is never tightened. Look at this, look. The whole thing's coming off. I don't even, I don't even need any tools to get this off. Look at that. That's not good. I guess that's good for me since I'm changing it, but uh, yeah, if you have a T-line, make sure your pedals are on the way they're supposed to be, nice and tight. Here's what they look like. Got this little piece here and the washer. All right, so let's get the weight because everybody likes to know what the weight is. So the original pedal set on the T-line, it weighs 295 grams. One set of the grip nuts both pedals and the washers weighs 192 grams. Okay, so the Type Parts um, pedals, they're about 100 grams lighter and this is the reason why. They're much smaller, see? So if you're buying pedals and you have big feet, um, I don't recommend these pedals because your foot's gonna fall off, right? So stick to the uh, bigger sizes like uh, MKS Promenades. Those are nice and big and they're great pedals too. All right. The reason why I'm changing the pedals is the bearings. If you look at the, uh, the stock one, I'm gonna spin it. Just look at the way it spins. See, it just stops. It doesn't really spin, this one too, at all. Like it stops, which isn't good because you want it to be nice and smooth, okay? And here's the Type Parts one. Look at that, nice and smooth. Okay, these have um, Japanese bearings in it, so they're super smooth. Uh, I'm gonna put the black ones on, just to keep it a nice uh, color scheme, okay? You guys might like the red ones though. Usually when I'm taking, um, you know, the pedals off for the first time, yeah, I gotta put a lot of strength in it and it's not easy. So I was actually pretty bit, uh, you know, I'm just pretty bit surprised how easy they came off. Also, if you do change the pedals, you're not gonna be able to use the uh, fork for the quick release, okay? Because the size is totally different. It's not gonna fit, okay? I personally never use it, so it's okay for me. I would rather just take it off and throw it in my backpack if I needed to. Before I put these on, I'm gonna put these little nuts into the pedal. Put it on by hand. Perfect. Once I have it on, I'm gonna just use one of these wrenches and tighten it up. All right. You wanna help me put these in? No. <laughs> my hands are shaking, I'm getting old. Could be the coffee though. The little studs, I think they're called studs. The little studs are on the pedal, so we're gonna put them on the bike.
Okay, so let's put the pedals on. I put a little grease on here and I put grease on the inside. There was no grease on it from the factory, so I think they just forgot to tighten it. All right, so this is the Park Tools PW5, and this is a 15 millimeter wrench, pedal wrench. There you go. All right, this is definitely good enough. And there we go. A little bit of grease here. On the drive side, it's the fixed spindle one, and this one takes a, let's see, a size, size eight, all right? Don't forget to put the washer on. All right, so these are the new pedals. I'll let you guys know in a few months what I think about them. Um, you know, they look very nice. They're a little bit smaller. They got the studs, so I have to get used to them. Um, you can see up here, I have the Asafix ones. These are much cheaper and these are great pedals as well. So if you are on a budget, you might want to consider these. These spin very nice too. And they're the PD-015s. All right, so if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Stay hungry.